Hey, what's up, what's up, YouTube? This is Keeping Geo in the house. I want to say thank you. Um, I just want to, this is going to be a video for a young man. His name is Michael Medina. Um, and hopefully this goes to a lot of young young fathers out there. Um, he asked me to make a video. Um, what is my advice on fatherhood? Um, I'm 48 years old. Uh, I was, I have two daughters, two sons. Um, my my oldest my oldest daughter is 26. My youngest is 18, going to 19. It's August, and for my youngest one, I was for her life. I was her mother and her father. Um, I'm not gonna get into what happened to her mom, but I was a father at the age of 28, and um, and raising my daughter on my own until I met my wife in 2009. No, 2011. I'm sorry. We're going to nine years now, and um, it was overwhelming. But the one thing that I that I was determined to do is I was going to make the best for my daughter. Um, that I was not going to be the I'm not I was not going to be my mother. I was not going to be my father. I was going to be different to my daughter, and that's what I did. Um, my daughter and I, I always spoke to my daughter when she was a child. I spoke in, in, in a sense that I was open with her. Um, I gave her the best advice that I could, um, you know. And that's what and that's what a young that's what a father does. Um, if you're young, in a young father, embrace your kids, um, play with them, um, get to know what they like. Because in your eye, in their eyes, you're the superhero. In your eyes, you're the doctor. Because when they get sick, hey, daddy. Um, I cut myself here, or daddy, I pinched myself here, or daddy, I pinched myself there, or daddy, this happened, or daddy, my door, sorry, my door won't open, so now, now, now you're a doorman, huh? or my daddy, I'm taking a shower, this won't open, now you're a plumber, uh, you, you know, you, as a father, you become a lot of things to your child, so you got, you have to, you have to, they, you know, they expect you to, to, to you, you don't want to portray yourself as something that you're not, you want to portray yourself good. You want to be the best dad that you can. You want to be better than your father. If your father was good, you want to be better than that. You know, because that's the kid. That kid's going to emulate. You know, you want that kid to emulate what you have. So, it's it's, it's important also to, to when you're bringing up a child, especially a boy or girl, but I'm talking about, you're, you're asking me about a boy. It's that he sees you as a father figure. He sees you when he grows up as a friend. You know that you, you know that you talk to your son, that you let them know that you're there for your son. You know, um, never tell your son that men don't cry, don't do that. That's a bad thing. That, and if you're not with a baby's mom, if you're not with his, with his mom, don't say, don't talk bad about his mother. Um, whatever happened, happened. But try to be the best version of you as possible. Try to work your your butts off so your son can see, or your daughter can see. The sacrifices that you're doing for them, and they can appreciate that when they get older in life, and say, "My dad worked his ass off," and that's why that's that's who I want to be. I want to be like my dad. There are going to be hard times if you're a single parent or, or not. It's going to be hard times. It's going to be hard times. You're going to want to, you know, say things to your kid or do something, but you can't. You got to hold your composure and say, "Son, what happened? What happened in school? What happened to this? Why did the teacher call me? What happened?" Why are you feeling sad? Get to know your kid's emotion. You know, being a father for the first time is hard. I mean, embrace your son, love your son like you love yourself, but even ten times more than that. Don't, don't surround your son with bad influences. Don't hang out with people who are bad influences to you, for you, because those bad influences will influence your son. I don't care who they are, but that's a bad influence on your kid. And God, you know, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna introduce your son, introduce your sons to people who are good, the people who are who have dreams like you have, who have aspirations like you do, who do yeah, you look up to as a person or as a father figure, those are the persons who are you 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 want to have around with, so your kids can see my dad hangs out with good people. These are they, these are daddy's friends. They're good people. Um, don't let everybody in your circle, um, but be there for your kid. You're raising your kid this small, so if you kid, you're raising your kid like this, right? So you try to be there as much as much as, much as possible. Um, raise him or her 
the best to your ability. Because I can tell you my, I can tell you how I raise mine. But the way I raise mine can be different how the way you raise yours. You're gonna have to have, you're gonna have to put. I never put my mother's values to my kids because those, I, those are her values. I put my own values in my own kids, and that's what you gotta do. Put your own values to your own kids. Let them know as a little kid um, that that life is good. That whenever they wanna play, you play with them. Whatever they wanna do, as long as you know. I say I used to let my daughter make put makeup on me, and you know, they dad can I put makeup on you? I said sure, no problem, and I didn't care, you know, because I'm sad. I, I'm making my daughter happy, and that's what you want. You want to make your child happy, you know. Um, try not to get angry at him. Try not to yell at him or her. Um, but be the best version of you that you can be. As a father, be the best version of you that you can be. Love your child ten times more than you love yourself. Because they look up to you. To you, you are the hero. You're the Hulk, you're Thor, you're Spider-Man, you're Venom. You're everyone. Every 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 hero, every hero that your child sees is you. you know, I used to watch movies with my daughter and my daughter used to watch movies. We used to watch um Shrek. I love cartoons too. Watch Shrek and then and be like, oh, dad, that's you and mom. You know, you're Shrek and mom's Fiona. And when we watched um, Ice Age, you know, the uh, the, the mammoth, the elephant, uh, mammoth, the elephant. Uh, that's not his name, but that's, that, that's what they call. Him. Uh, my, you know, he, he was protective of his daughter, and my dad and my daughter was like, dad, that's you, that's you, always protective. You know, oh, don't let me go out and do this. You know, um, but um, yeah. Be the best version of you can be. Of you you know, love your kids, you know, like you never loved anyone else before, because they're your kids, you know. Um, and there will be there will be tough times. There will be tough times because kids are not easy. You were a kid once, right? And things are not going to be easy. But it's it's not going to be easy. But you can do it. And you know, I know, you know, I know kids, 15, 16 years old, and I don't know why they're having kids. I you know 17 or 18 years old having kids is that that to me um, you should learn how to be a kid first mature get some maturity in you um, have a good job a good job can be anything I'm not gonna say become a doctor become a lawyer but a good job that you're satisfied with that job I'm pain I mean raising a kid pain is every and payment is everything salary is everything because you have to take care of your kid you have to make sure that that kid has pampers you got to make sure the kid has milk you know and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you you know once you get to a certain age of maturity, that's when you should have a kid. You know, um, nowadays kids having kids, that's what kids are the way they are now. At Fifteen years old, their mother's thirty. Um, but with with all that said, you know, be the best version of you. Same thing like a mother. A mother should be the best version of herself. If she's a single mom, do the best that she can do. Um, have fun with your kids. Um, don't don't be bring, bringing any guys into the house. Um, that's my that that's my view. Um, but that's just for the girls. But for the guys, you know, um, just be you. Be the best version of you that you can be to your kids. You know, um, play because play with your kids. Let them know you know teach them sports or whatever they like to do. But, you know, let them know that you're behind them 100. <laughs> you know, uh, um, and instilling them what 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 you believe in. You know the the love and, and and the faith that you have, and for them, and first and I even forgot to mention this, which is the most this is the most important part of it. Always teach you always teach your kid about God. Always, but no matter what anyone says, God does exist. Science can't prove He doesn't, but He does exist. He's in here, guys, and that's the first thing you should teach a kid that God exists, not religion, but God. So. Just like I said, be the best that you can be. And like when times when 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 time when rough times come, just compose yourself. Say I own and move from there. You know? Grab your son every night, kiss him, say I love you, baby. I love I love you. You my you know you're my man, you know, you know my little little man, I love you. I love you too, daddy. You know, those words, I love you too, daddy, I love you, daddy. Oh touch this right here, man. Right here, right here, right here. So, um, just be the best you can be, man. And I hope this helps you, Mike, and other young 
fathers out there um, that if you're going to be a father um, do it when you're responsible do it when you're you're of age that you can sustain the child that you can that you can do good for the child all right I'm, I'm, a, I'm an advocate of, 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 of of raising a good child in a, in a family home but if that can't be done with both mother and father in it or at least the father or the mother but that mother and father can raise that child well beyond well you know i mean a father needs a father needs his kid and there are certain things that a mother can't teach that a father can and certain things that a father can't teach that a mother could you know that's that that's important that they both are in they both of them are in the role that they're they, 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 they have a whole have a strong hold, have a strong bond with their child, even if they're not together. But do your best. That's all you can do. Is do your best. And do do your best and hope for the best. You know. So I hope it's helped, guys. And thank you. And and thank you, Michael, for asking me for my advice. I appreciate that. Uh, it means a lot to me. So peace out, guys, and God bless you.